How do I get $60,000 off condos, sometimes more? How do you get a discount on the condo? How do you get a condo for less? How do you get a less from the developer, from assignment, for resale? Hello everyone, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Real Estate Agent and Mortgage Broker, working with investors, buyers and sellers. And today we're gonna to talk to you about how to get cheap condos. What? This is, this, is a, this is a seller's market, prices are going up like crazy, all that stuff. Yeah, I know, but I will show you how to get them for cheaper, okay? So, um, you know, usually I do the introduction. I'm just going to skip everything and go right to the meat of it, okay? So, first thing I want to show you is uh, we're going to go to the Market Watch, um, which is the, the Toronto Real Estate Board. And when you go to the Market Stats here and then you go to the Market Watch, you will, get, uh, you will get this thing here, Market Watch. Download this file, okay? And it's a really long file, uh, but all you care is for, the, for this first page here. And it shows you what's going on with the TREB, with the resale MLS activity. Um, and here is for 2019. Now this one came uh, at the beginning of uh, November 2019. And in a few days, probably end of this week, Thursday, Friday, we'll see the stats for November, which I think will be very good. Now watch this. In October 2018, we had, say, 7,500 sales. In October 2019, 8,500 sales. So 100,000 more in one year. And the average price went from 807 to 852. So, you know, like 45, 47,000 dollars more, which is a lot, just over 5%. Uh, so what's going on? Um, everyone say the market's contracting, prices are too high. You know, the price of real estate's crazy. I mean, I've, I've repeated this so many times. Uh, and look at the stats. We had a crazy up run in 2015, 16, 17, 2018, a little less, but you know what, 2019? I thought it's gonna come like around 2018, maybe between even less, but no, it's gonna come way up, why? Because the average of 852 is beating by 30,000, the average of 2017, that means we're gonna be up here. 800, we're gonna be like somewhere up here, which is insane. So how do you get cheap condos, even the environment is telling you that you can't because it's a sales market. Well, there's a few options to do it. Uh, so here's here's how it goes, okay? This, this uh, today is uh, Monday, December 2nd, Cyber Monday. And this whole weekend, the week was Black Friday, all the sales, everything. Now, what is this all about? Uh, people are starting to know, especially up here where it's colder and it's snowing outside today, beautiful day. Um, you know, the retailers trying to get rid of all the inventory because, you know, they have four seasons. Every three months, they got to replace everything. So discount, discount, discount. And just try to get people buying before Christmas and buying and buying and buying and buying and buying after summer and buying and buying. Okay, so the prices are drew up. So you can pick up stuff for 50% less and you realize the retailers and the manufacturers, everyone's still making money because their margins are so high. Now in condos, you can buy a condo from, uh, in three ways, okay? And I'll show you how similar it is. The first way you can buy directly from the developer. The second, you buy it on assignment, which means somebody bought it from the developer and then selling it to you. And the third option is buying resale, which is on the open market, okay? So in these videos here, I review all three options, buy it from the developer, buy an assignment, Mine resale. Now, let's see who's going to give me the best discount and where can I get the best discount on that condo and get the best price possible even when the market's going up. It's always possible. Okay. Uh, the first thing you need to understand is the mindset. Okay. If you don't have the mindset of an investor, if you don't have the mindset of someone who's going to go get it, it's just not going to work for you. You're not going to succeed. People who are always looking for the problems and not the solutions, they're not successful. They just can't be. It's impossible. People are looking for how can I do better? How can I excel? How can I invest better? How can I leverage my money more? You know, they will excel not only, not only in real estate, but it, usually in all areas of life. You know, it comes together because if you have a mindset of I'm going to make it happen, it's going to happen for you. Whether you're making dinner or you're buying a million dollar condo, it's the same thing. It's the mindset that sets everything. Okay, so I want to have the mindset of, of a successful person. I want to have the mindset of a, of a true investor. I want to have the mindset of someone who is succeeding. Okay, so the moment I'm tapping into this mindset, into this stream, you know, all I look around and I look, where, where are the opportunities? How can I do better? How can I leverage better? How can I do better for me and better for everyone around me? So, you know, the first thing you're going to do is start looking at information and really teach yourself what's going on. So there's a lot of information out there. There's my channel is one, the Twitter, of course, but there's, there's a lot of stuff out there. You, you can look, there's no books or, you know, there's no education for investors per se. Most of it is done by, you know, a uh, developer, a broker, a real estate agent, but yeah. You, know, you can't go to George Brown, Ryerson University, or U of T and like, how to buy a condo. They just, they just don't offer that. They don't, they don't even offer how to like use a credit card. So don't worry about them. You gotta do it on your own. Uh, TorontoCondosForSale.com, okay, that's the site where you will find, so this is a good uh, starting point. Because this is where you're gonna find um, 
condos that are upcoming under construction or just in the plan but you can also find you can go here pre-construction under construction planning Mississauga okay um, torontoconsforsale.com you hit that projects in Toronto it's going to give you all the projects it's got in the database um, so you can see here it's going to sort by some new stuff that came out so for example here's a this was recently edited Sky Tower so that's the Toronto Star one Young Street so this is a massive massive condo they're going to be very expensive I can get it for less okay so the hardest thing to do is of course a condo that just released to get it for less um, but you can if you get in a VIP sale or in a, in a friends and family sale uh, for that you usually need to know someone okay so the first option buy from developer when you buy from developer what you want to do is you want to make sure that you get in on the on the on a ground level on the first opportunity ground level okay so say so you'll see I really like uh, this condo Theo can you get me a deal on it? All I gotta do is ask, okay? And I'll go and see what deals I can get you on it. Now you'd be surprised how, even though all the retailers they stand in line, they buy, and they just just because we're so used to just pay whatever we told, you know, like this costs so much, you gotta pay this, you gotta pay that, and people just pay. I always ask, I always ask for something. Why not? Just ask for it. Ask politely, ask nicely, ask respectfully, and you'll get it. In many cases, you get it because if if the first person won't get it give it to you the second the third someone will okay um, now let's say now obviously you know to get a sixty thousand dollar discount you know you're not gonna go to a three hundred thousand dollar condo and expect to get twenty percent discount it's 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 hard uh, especially if the the price is right but if you look at a million dollar condo sixty thousand now it's only six percent two million dollars sixty thousand those only three percent now assignments so I'm, I'm gonna skip ahead here so this is a brand new condo brand new condo you get some incentive for example I can say to the developer you know what can you can you drop a parking for me can you give me a locker can you uh, what if they take the parking locker in a large unit you get them, you give them uh, some, some off you'll be surprised how many will say yes they will they're probably gonna say are these are serious buyers are they actually gonna buy and just waste my time so you gotta have the mindset you gotta go to get it there's a lot, you know, like for, for every one con that purchase happening anywhere, and all these condos, like the Forest Hill, they're all selling out. If it hasn't sold out yet, it will, even a thirteen, fourteen hundred dollar foot, because the offering is so good. Remember value. Number one secret of investors. There's a video about this. Is value. Okay. Uh, number one secret of investors. Right here, professional real estate investors. It's about value, understanding value, and that's really one of the hardest things to do for people because. A lot of people, especially when they're new to the game, they're stuck on the price and they don't understand value. Uh, value to me, you know, I can I can get that sixty thousand dollar discount today uh, in many ways. I can get it, and I wrote more about it, by the way. And you can get that sixty thousand dollar discount in many ways. One way would be to get the straight up discount. One way would be one way would be to get it at the end of the cycle uh, when you sell it. One way would be to get it because you're shaving some stuff off your mortgage. One way would be is to Pay your mortgage faster and save the interest you're paying on it. It just goes on and on and on. But you can see here, if you want to know a bit more, I tell you and I explain to you in this video like how to get value, how to actually work it. By the way, that David Madani guy, I think he's an actor. I've never seen him anywhere besides that show. <laughs> Guys, nuts. I don't know. Things like that. Huh? So when you go to get the assignments, um, you know, a lot of the a lot of the assignments now were purchased 2015, 16, 17. So that mean, that means I think we lost it right here. Okay, that should be good. Okay, I hope that works. Um, a, a lot of the investors and what I did here, I don't know if uh, I just went a little fast, but um, go to um, let me show you here. Go to Urban Realty. Okay, and then once it loads, um, go to the, scroll all the way to the bottom. Don't worry about all the loading stuff. Just go here, listing updated 24/7. You see this? All this stuff here always updates automatic. It just it just links you to that to the and here it says assignments. So the first thing you can do is buy new construction, which you find on Toronto Condos uh, for Sale dot com. This site here, Toronto Condos for Sale dot com. Um, and this is the site and then you click on the button projects in Toronto it's gonna pop right here and it's gonna show you all the projects you want and obviously no one's gonna advertise a discount 
uh, but if you call me or email me and ask me and tell me what you're looking for I will help you I will find you a condo that is less than market price okay it's always possible but that's done only with the real what we call, we call serious investor is like you going for it you know you have your ducks in a row you have your uh, deposit ready you have your pre-approval ready everything's good to go sure we're good um, if you're if you're um, if you're thinking about it bouncing around you know like it's 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 easy to figure out and if you're not ready you're not ready you're just like looking looking not sure a lot of people like that usually end up with buying not the best condos or not the best deal they're like ah at some point they just get tired and they buy something or they never buy it and never actually make it um, but you can just just ask for it just be serious about it ask for it, you'll get a discount okay I'll, I'll, I'll ensure you get something the other thing is here assignments when you <clears throat> When you click the assignment link on uh, on uh, urbanrealtytoronto.com, you'll bring it to this page here, and it's going to load all the assignments in the system. Now there are a lot, many, many more assignments available. There's, you know, there's less than a hundred in the system, but there are hundreds and hundreds of them. But this will give you a good idea of what people are looking for. Now a lot of people putting crazy, crazy prices on assignments. They say, well, you know, if the developer is selling for thirteen hundred dollars, why shouldn't I get thirteen hundred? But it's not going to work like that. And that's where we come in and we say, well. You know, it's December, it's going to be Christmas, holidays, everyone's going home, you want to sell, you want to get that money in your pocket in the 2018 tax year, you paid for this condo $600 a foot, you know, we'll give you $900 a foot, you make a very, very nice 350% profit margin, okay, that's good. Um, will this unit, 786, uh, will sell for 886 once it closed, at this, at this time of day? Probably not. You probably see that these units are selling for less. Why? Because there's so many of them available. There, there are, especially when a, a, a huge project like this is coming, and they're all going to get the keys at the same time, which is just the, the, the other end of the year, probably around March or April, they're all going to get the keys. Imagine how many units in this project sold for, sold for cheap. So the, the, the profit margins that people are making here are crazy. So imagine how many how many sellers are going to be here. So this is a really lovely unit. It's a northeast corner. Okay, it's a two separate bedroom, but you know, it's small and it's got a bit of a wasted space. So I'll say, you know what, I'll give you, how about I give you 750 for this unit? It's just under a thousand a foot. <laughs> Keep at it. Keep at it. They're not going to sell at 886, especially not as a assignment. You can walk in. The moment you walk in, if it's a really good unit, you may get your price. But if the unit is reasonable or less than reasonable, you know, in this case, you can see the kitchen is really small and there's very little cooking area and there's a bit of wasted space here. People, and the living room is kind of small because it's the whole thing is 786 and it's facing north and northwest or, or northeast and not southwest. So people say, well, you know, like I think 650 is a fair price for it or 750 is a fair price for it. Well, you take it. And we start negotiating. Eventually, because there are so many people offering the units in that building, eventually one of them will crack and give us what they want, which is that unit for less, okay? So think about it. In the, in the pre-construction, we go to developer based on personal contacts. We get you a good deal, but you gotta be for real, okay? And then if you're looking at something like, um, and you see, there's a lot of stuff for 49. And look how many units in in this 355 King R. That tells me that it's a very good target for acquisition. Okay, here's another one, 878, 866. So that's a much better price already. That's a much better price for this unit. Uh, dollar per foot. Now there's no floor plan here. I'll, I'll have to go get it. Assignment sale, northwest uh, unit, downtown core, two bedroom. They don't give you the floor plan, which I, I think they should. Blah blah blah. Eight seven eight. Okay, you know it's, but it's 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 not uh, occupying yet. The moment it starts occupying, you know that person that has the unit is gonna have to pay occupancy fees about two thousand a month. So after a couple of months, they're like, yeah, well, we're going to drop our price a little bit until we get, and they're going to have to start dropping prices. Remember, assignments will sell less than what the developer will sell, and resale usually will sell even less. Now, it's completely reversed to what it used to be. Uh, what it used to be is that the, the, um, the finished product will be the highest because the least amount of risk, it's there, it's finished, and then the pre-construction will be the lowest price because... People say, well, what if it didn't finish? The lawyer said, that what if it didn't finish? But after 20 years of doing this, Toronto has been doing this, you know, like we can see that it's not such a big deal anymore. And projects are being completed, especially this one, you know, you can see it. So that's better. 
and now the assignment was a somewhere in between what they paid for it and the market price. So assignment is a really good way to get uh, your discount. And it's not unreasonable to me that you will get a crazy discount because, for example, if one unit here, 355 King, is uh, is priced 100,000 more than it should, why not offer them less? Why not? Why not try? I mean, there's so many units in this building. So if you like this building, if you like the 355 King, and it is a fantastic investment opportunity, in my opinion. And here's another one, 820. So let's see what this unit has. So you see how, as we keep looking, the price goes down. Or why not I give them all a call and say, who really wants to sell and who needs to sell right now? Here's another 866 on the 22nd floor, and that's 820. No floor plan either. Bad listing agents. Terrible, terrible listing agents. Ah. Now I have to call them and they have to answer the phone and all that stuff. Like in, in reality, just put all information here, let people make decisions to reduce your time. Okay, but you can see 820 for this two bedroom in this building and 849 in two bedroom in this building and 878. Now this 2105, 878, and this 2205, a floor above, same unit, 820. So that's 70, $58,000 difference between two units already. And I still think we can get it for less. I think we can get these units for less than 800. So that means I can, I, I may be able to get this unit for 100,000 less than this guy's asking. And the moment all these units start to fall into place, because, and I, I told you before, because what happens, um, there's just a lot of supply for just a short amount of time. But if that short amount of time, okay, you can get into, the, you can get in there, you, you can gain, you can gain 50, 60, $100,000 and really get that unit for less than 800. And now it makes sense because now you're bringing it back to the, to uh, the level where we want, which is approximately a uh, thousand buck a foot. Okay. Now, why do I say a thousand buck a foot? And here I get into the resale. So if you go to condos.ca, I punch in downtown and you can see what I get here. Then I click the analytics uh, tab and you get 985 a foot. Okay. So if my, uh, if my average uh, downtown is 985 a foot, I'm going to try and get as close as I can my assignments to 985 a foot. Now obviously newer buildings offer more, may go for a bit higher, that's totally okay. But you know, the difference on a, on a 786 square feet, say 800 square feet, uh, $100 a foot, that's $80,000. Okay, so here's your $80,000 discount right there. And I think, I think I can do this one for 100 less than what the highest, uh, highest seller is asking. Now what's gonna happen with this seller, there's two options. Uh, option number one, Option number one is that they're going to go and I'm just going to refresh the search here. Option number one, um, they're going to close on it and sit on it and rent it out or try to sell it in the open market. That steamer is loud, uh, which is fine if they can do it. And option number two is they won't be able and they're going to have to start dropping in price. Now, every time you see um, that there's a bunch of properties offered in the same, in the same place, you know, even uh, Queen Queen East here, which building just finished, I just saw a listing. It's not anywhere, but I did see it because we all share information uh, for uh, one of the units uh, here. And again, no flop. And what are you guys doing? Um, but I saw I saw a listing uh, for this building. This just came out because there's a lot of units released here because they got the keys and a lot of investors. They're trying to flip them, and th it was already uh, much discounted to less than a thousand a foot. And guess what? I think even less. If the original purchaser paid, say, six, seven hundred dollars a foot, and we offer them two hundred dollars a foot over what they paid for, and they just want to flip it, they may just go for it because it's Christmas and it's New Year and it's holidays and it's this and it's that and it's dark and it's cold and uh, just give me the money. I want to close it 2018. Otherwise, it goes to my taxes next year. But there's a lot of opportunities and assignments. Okay. Give you some more information here. So. Uh, UrbanRealtyToronto.com. You'll see Kaplan. Uh, Nordy Condos came out at about a thousand a foot. They were selling like nine fifty to ten fifty a foot, give or take. You know, in that condo itself, um, and they're giving parking for forty five and all these good deals. Um, so I think there's a lot of opportunities. Is this still, still got time to buy a condo in twenty? Absolutely, but you got to be smarter and better and understand how to buy pre-construction, understand how to buy assignments, understand how to buy resale. Look at Toronto, you know, Niagara sold out right now, there may be a phase four, they sold out phase one, sold the phase two, sold the phase three, but you gotta go for it, my friends. And of course, it's all in the mindset and in the value. Okay, I'm almost done here for today. Um, 
I'm just going to let you know the yorkvilleluxuryrealestate.com is over a million. So maybe less updates here, but really nice stuff here. Bottom here, you can also look directly into uh, the listings. Uh, if you want to look, for example, for a loft, just hit this button here, and the system will spew out all the lofts it has. Now, just keep searching, keep searching, um, make notes, ask questions, be serious about it, get ready. When you see that deal coming, you got to jump at it, okay? Now, the deal is not going to be necessarily what the price says. The deal is actually a combination of everything around. And by doing that combination, these are just coming up with all the lofts, if you like lofts. So it's going to bring you out the lofts, okay? And that's where you're going to start. And obviously, it's whatever the, whatever the selling agent put in is what you're going to get out. Um, but you can see if uh, 608 Richmond got a unit here, and then there's another 608 Richmond unit here, and then you find a third unit at 608 Richmond, another one. Okay, that may be an opportunity for me. Here's another one. This may be an opportunity for me to come and get a deal because if there's people co competing, especially in the same building, I can probably do good to there, okay? Um, keep an eye on the Treb Market Watch, okay? So Treb Market Watch stat, and it'll give you these numbers. And I guarantee you, and this is going to come later this week, that the prices for um, November 2019 are going to be quite high. And I think we're going to break the record for 2019. I'm taking a bit of risk saying that, but I think you're going to see something very unusual with the prices still came up in 2019. We really hope for like 3, 5, or 8%, but it may be more just because of all the money funneling in to Canada from all over the world and within Canada, okay? Um, last, go to the condo calculator, condocalculator.ca, put your name, your email, I'm not a robot, and you will get an email with a link to this spreadsheet here where you can and I've got a whole bunch of videos about here you got all the links here but most importantly here whatever is in yellow put your price put your price let's say you got this for 450 okay so the system will update a thousand bucks a foot and then show you what your deposit and what you need to do and your break even point and your dollar per foot and everything you need to know um, in order to make a good understanding should you buy that condo or not and you can play you can just put the same condo here say what if I bought it for 500 what if I bought it for 300 whatever and just keep running the numbers and the system will show you and there's a whole video explaining in the condo calculator it'll show you exactly how to use it okay so that's it for today my friends you can save sixty thousand dollars in a condo 70 80 100 uh, you gotta be real you gotta have the right mindset you gotta be ready okay you gotta be very very focused and you're gonna make it done those who don't have it done, they don't believe in themselves, they don't have the mindset, and they're not ready. So that's it. You can do it. Give me a call. Yossi Kaplan. I'll be happy to work with you. Thank you very much. That's it.